what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another high q reaction man season four part two is on the way we're here with episode three or episode 16 if you want to call it that i think yeah 16 yes episode 16 great things are happening this match is going on strong um it's close it's a close matchup they're hanging in there's two elite teams going at it i respect the other team just as much as i respect karasuna because they got formidable foes but i'm i'm glad that the karasuna is not getting frazzled you know what i'm saying like yes they may do the other team might do some surprising things but at the end of the day, they're not frazzled. They're still playing ball. They're still in the zone. They're still doing their thing. They're not losing hope. They're not wondering if they can win. They know they can win, right? So let's jump into this, man, without wasting any more time. Let's jump in. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was what, episode 16, of course. So let's talk about it because I've never, we've never seen them expound on who Tanaka is. And I'm glad they did that in this episode, gave him some shine. And as I said, you know, anime tends to, you know, you know tends to do this. It's a trope of anime, you know, um, you know, every now and then they'll single out a character and give them a moment, you know, and give them a moment. Tanaka has, has really been like a staple in the show to really pay attention to, but never really got to see anything about him, really. You know, never got an episode, you know, more uh, um, not expounded on like this. Like he got a whole episode to himself. We saw a little bit of a background. You know, from when he was a kid, playing with the tall girl, I don't know her name, right? His first, you know, proposal to, um, what is her name? Kyoko? Uh, Kyoko? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, is it Kyoko? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember the girl name. Uh, Shimizu? Shimizu? <laughs> Whatever um, her name is, but... I really did enjoy that episode, man. I like the fact that they show his non, his persistence in his skills, even though, you know, he's looking at it and he's saying, I'm, I'm not number one at anything on the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the go-to guy for anything <laughs> on the team. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, um, Asai, he's considered the ace. You have Kageyama and Hinata got their own thing going on. You got Noya, you know what I'm saying? He's the best, you know, receiver on the team. Uh, you got Daichi, which is like the second best receiver on the team. Uh, and you got Sukishima, which is, you know what I'm saying? He's the leader for the defense. So even the first years, he's like the only guy that's a starter that doesn't really get shine you know what i'm saying he doesn't really get no shine yeah he scores points don't get me wrong and he's rah rah hooray but to see them go all out to show the type of person who tanaka is which we already know you know judging from the little little that we've seen about him he's you know what i'm saying he's all about the teamwork he's all about you know what I'm saying? Getting at other players from other teams that are trying to dog on his teammates and stuff like that. He's ready to fight any day. City boys, bring it on. You know what I'm saying? So he's always been that dude. He doesn't really get depressed. Now, I remember that one match. I don't remember who they were playing against. But that one match where he, um, he kind of messed up. And he slapped himself in the face, bring himself back to reality. He apologized to the team. I think that I think there was a, a little flashback to that very scene um, in this episode. I think that's what they were showing from. I think it was from that very match. I don't remember who they were playing, but it showed his tenacity, the type of person that he is. Like he doesn't get down on himself. 
um you know and i'm I, i'm very similar to that kind of characteristic i do not get depressed for very long like if it does happen like if i'm disappointed about something about myself it doesn't take me a long time and i think um you know i think it's because of all the stuff that i've been through in life like it's it takes a lot to really bother me you get what i'm saying so it takes a lot for me to really be down down on myself for a very long time um it it hasn't happened in at least a decade you know what i'm saying since because i've been through so much so early you know it kind of strengthens my character you know what i'm saying like things that i used to boohoo cry about that stuff doesn't it, it doesn't even bother me anymore you know what i'm saying like you know um things with, with relationship dealing with you know family and stuff like that so cry for every damn thing when i was in my early 20s man but now that stuff it's nothing you know what i'm saying like it it, it just doesn't phase me uh, at all anymore like it takes literally a lot because even me and you guys know that i've been dealing with you know my girl and you know what she's been going through and all of this other stuff but it never really phased me to the point where i where i was worried you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying i cared i cared for her don't get me wrong you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i was like oh she's gonna pull through so there's no need to worry like you know what i'm saying you know worry doesn't do anything and I know it's hard to tell because it's easier said than done to tell people, don't worry. You know what I'm saying? Especially in dire situations, you're telling them not to worry. It's going to work out. It's hard. It's, it's easier said than done. And I know it. But, you know, when you look at it from this perspective, and this is how I look at worry. Worry doesn't do anything. It's a part of our emotion that we need to conquer. Worrying about stuff, all it does is causes you stress. That's all it does and i'm happy to see that they can portray that in some way um you know hinata bounce back he's the same he looks at everything as a positive instead of a negative you get what i'm saying like every single obstacle that is placed in front of him he looks at it as a way to improve a way okay okay they got me they, they got me on that i'm gonna have to try something different i'm gonna i i, I have to adjust and that's how life is because there are going to be hop obstacles there are going to be things in the way they are going to be everything trying to get you from that goal they are they are going to be things that are going to put be put in front of you with whether it's a person or a thing it's going to be there it could be anything could be there in front of you but you have to adjust you can't just stand up and be like oh man i can't do this no more and just quit you get what I'm saying? Which is, you know, people who are very weak willed. That's how they that's how they are. Every little obstacle that comes up, they're just like, man, I'm out. I can't do this. You know what? In my opinion, when you when you have people like that, it's usually because they are not um, in, in some ways. They just that's not it. You know what I'm saying? That's that wasn't the, the, the goal. They fooled themselves into thinking that's the goal, but that's not really the goal. That's wasn't really the goal. Because if it really is the goal and you really want to attain that goal, you will stay on course. You will stay on course. You will slip and dodge all that foolishness and you will keep going at that goal. So um so I hope you guys learned something important from this from this episode, man. Really inspiring episode. Um Tanaka is one of those dudes you know what i'm saying and i do appreciate him but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts don't forget to like the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later peace